Hello there, I am Jack with more Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we took on the rest of Cycling Road, we finished it up. We also took on three bird keepers that were on our route west of uh, Future City, and we made it to Future City. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think uh, we did evolve into Venusaur last part, so that's pretty cool. Um, maybe the part before that, I can't remember. But I trained all my Pokemon up to level 35, like I said, before, like I said in the last part, end of the last part. So yeah. But, um, we're not gonna actually take on the Safaris on this episode. I forgot that. I wanna show off the other way to get to Fusu City. Which is the routes, uh, south, south of Lavender or west uh, or east of, uh, Vermillion City, which is a route that's west or east of Vermillion City. And then it's to the east of that route. So yeah. I'll put on uh, on screen what route that is because I can't remember what it is. I think it's like Route 9 or something. I could be wrong. Uh, so yeah, uh, I want to first start off with battling these swimmer guys right here. So I'm going to hop over this ledge just to hop over them, I guess. Um, I think that's like where you get uh, a um, fishing rod. But you can't even skip over these guys yet. Okay, whatever. Wait, uh, you'll have a heart attack. Okay, uh, no, let's just battle. I think I'll be okay, but thank you for your concern, yes, swimmer. Yeah, okay, sure. He has a, uh, okay, I didn't say swim my male or female, so they have a Goldeen. Okay, let's go for the Thunderbolt. That'll be super effective. Yeah. So it takes it out nice, okay. And, uh, Hoisey, okay. Let's, uh, well, I guess we can still st stick with Storm, I guess. Why not? Let's go for the Thunderbolt on the Hoisey, too, then. Haha. <laughs> It goes down awesome, nice. Uh, somewhere is about to destroy you, okay, we'll stay in. Let's go for another Thunderbolt, you know. I feel, I'm, I'm planning on healing up after the, I'm battling these two trainers. Uh, these two swimmers down here. I think there was three of them, but I thought that there was, there's actually just two, I guess. Which is okay, I guess. Oh, that's chilly, I'm sorry. Thanks for 145. Poke dollars. You can't actually surf on water yet because we don't have the HM for surf, but we're actually getting close to it because it's in the safari zone, honestly. So is this a fishing guru? No, it's uh, dogs and burgers are on sale today. Hey, look, it's a Pikachu. Pikachu Pika. Oh, it just has a little... It has like a bzzz sound instead of like Pika. Because Pika my Pikachu says Pikachu. And then... Well, is there anything... I think this might be only in yellow. It's some sort of machine. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Hey, which one... Which one's my Pikachu, guys? Which one is my Pikachu? <laughs> the one that's still following me, but still. Come on, she can move again, Pikachu. Which one's mine? I can't tell. Oh, I can't even skip that far. Okay, whatever. We're, we're gonna blow this popsicle stand. Okay, so there's one more tr uh, tr uh, swimmer I wanna fight, which is this one. He's all shocked. Uh, yeah. Hey, to warm up. I have to warm up before I my swim. Okay, whatever. Let's take you on. Now, in this sprite, he looks like he's not wearing like a swimming cap, but like right there, he's wearing a, he's wearing a swimming cap or something, you know? It's like, what the heck, man? This tentacle's level 30, that's pretty cool. Let's give it a thunderbolt. It's gonna be super effective because tentacles are water, half water at least type, half water type, I guess you say. So yeah. Nice, someone's about to shelter. Okay, we'll stay in. We'll stay in for the shelter. Let's go for the thunderbolt. This shelter's level 30. That's pretty cool, I guess. There we go, we defeat someone nice. Oh, warmed up. I guess this is what she said. I'm hoping that's what she said. I might have missed about that. Thanks for the trip to Poke it always. Okay. So I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think one of these houses. I think it's this house that gives you a fishing rod because there's another fishing guru. Yeah, here he is. Nice. Okay, I'm a fishing guru's older brother. Okay. I absolutely love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, of course. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. We've got the old gold rod. Uh, not gold rod, but good rod. Cool. And then uh, if we go into... I think this is the warden's house. So let's talk to him. Warden says... Uh, yes. I'm just trying to 
make out. I mean, I try. I just was reading this dog. That's what I was doing. I don't know. That wasn't even close. Honestly, I tried my best. This requires strength to move, which you also get into strength later on. It's also a. Uh, it's coming up. You know, it's in. It's within this city. But we'll, you know, get to when we get to. I'm gonna um, go back to the Pokemon Center and deposit my good rod because I won't be using it. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so we could fly back to uh, Lavender Town or um, or Bemoan City, but I don't have fly. Well, uh, you know, Tabasco's level 35, it'll be, it'll be about level 36, so I can finally fly when it's a Charizard, when I'm evolving the Charizard. But for right now, we can't really do anything with it, uh, deal with fly. So maybe we can like level up Tabasco on the way if they're out and then fly back to where um, the Snorax is and whatnot. So that's why we want to start there. Um, well, I guess we could, um, I'll just cut to where, um, we're in front, we're like basically in front of the snow axe, you know, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, uh, gosh dang it, hold on. Oh no, I can go all the way to Lavender Town and, uh, go south of there. Okay, so I'm going to do that, so I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, here we are back in Lavender Town. I'm going to go south of it, yeah. And, uh, pick it just up front, I guess. There's a couple trainers, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Okay, there's a... That's a dead end, of course it is. Okay, that's a dead end too. Okay, fine. I'm just going through this stranger setup, but I think if you go upstairs, there's be like a trade or something on May Professor Oak's aid. One thing, asking if you cost it to mount Pokemon to get certain item. That's probably what it is. Let's take you on. Yeah, I got a bite here. Cool. That's good for you, I guess. Here's Fisherman, and yeah, he wants to fight. Cool. Goldeen. Nice. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. This Goldeen's level 22. Critical quite nice. Storm Grid level 36. Awesome. Okay, Polywag. Let's switch to Brute Root then. Let's go for the Razor Leaf, I guess, why not? This Polywax level 22. Let's see if this one kills it. It does, because, cool. Could have quit it though, I'll take it. Goldeen again will stay in with uh, Brute Root, I guess. This Razor Leaf hits, and it's gonna take out the Goldeen, nice. Cool. We need a fish Fisherman, cool. Small, something about being a small fry, thanks for the 700 Poké Dollars, I guess. We can't get that item because we're off surf yet. Uh, I'll switch uh, Storm with uh, Brute Root, I guess. Here's another Fisherman guy, cool. Be patient, fishing is a waiting game, okay. This is Fisherman wants to fight. Cool. Tentacool. Be cool. Tentacool. <laughs> okay, so let's go for the, um, raise if I guess. It'll always be neutral effective because I think te Tentacool is half poison type. So, maybe this will be super effective. Maybe it won't be. Quick, quick. It's not very effective though, huh, man? <laughs> that's a bummer. Goldeen is next. Okay. Goldeen is just a pure water type, so that's good for us, because Razor Leaf will be super effective. This Goldeen is level 24. Cool. Let's see if this thing faints it in one hit. Nice. Cool. We have a fisherman, nice. Now that one got away, I'm sorry man. Next for 840 pocket dollars. Cool. Uh, the fishing fool, uh, versus Pokemon Kid. You calling yourself a fool? You don't call yourself names. I mean, that's kind of depressing, kind of. Poor guy. You don't need to call yourself names. Okay, he has a gold though. That's level 27. He should feel better about himself, you know? He's a great person. This guy is a great person, guys. Take it from me. <laughs> He's a great fisherman. He has a level 27 gold Nice. And it goes down, yay, cool. 
Yeah, okay, too much. Sorry, man. Thanks for the energy for five pocket dollars, though. Let's see here. Yeah, cool. Uh, the Strox is coming up, alright, because it should be coming up. But we gotta deal with the Night Fisherman, which is okay. I mean, I like experience. It's good. I'd rather be working. Oh man. I mean, a Pokemon battle, a Pokemon battles at work, I guess, if you want to count that. But yeah. He has four Pokemon. He's another, he has another Fisherman. This guy has a Poiwag. That's cool. I want to see if a Vinyl Ball fainted. Just out of curiosity. So let me see. So if we can use Vine Whip, it's level 20, it's level 21 Poliwag, and it takes it out nice. Cool. And a Shell do, okay. We'll use that Razor Leaf on that one, because I know Shell there has a lot of defense. So, we'll use Razor Leaf. This Shell there is level 21. I like how Shell there just has his tongue sticking out, you know? It's like, hmm, it's like it thinks it's a dog or something, because that's a pretty long tongue. Ah, I don't know. It's just how it is, I guess. He has a Goldeen. Okay, a lot of these fishermen have a Goldeens. Jeez. Let's go for the Razor, if I guess. It hits. And, uh, it'll probably be a critical hit, honestly. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> because, you know, Razor has that critical hit ratio. Brute will go to, go to level 36. Awesome. Holy oh, see. Let's go to, um, let's go to Grumpy. Because Grumpy has Thunderbolt. Let's see if a Thunderbolt fiends this. Holy oh, see. It's gonna be super effective at least. Let's give it the Thunderbolt. And let's see, it does, nice. We need a few fishermen, cool. It's not easy, sorry man, thanks for the 735 Poké Dollars though. Just switch Brute Root to the bottom actually. Yeah. And I'll switch Grumpy with the Tabasco. Okay, so that's a dead end right there. Here's the Snorlax. Okay, I'll switch to um Storm because Storm has Thunderbolt. I mean, not Thunderbolt, but also Thunder Wave, I guess. So that's my strategy just to paralyze it too. So let's use the Pokefoo. So, uh, yeah. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Now, if I accidentally faint this, I mean, like, I, I'd be pretty upset, but, uh, I'd, I'd, because I couldn't be in my Pokedex, because this is the last one in the game, basically, because I think two parts ago, he fa I accidentally fainted the, um, f first Snorlax we uh, west of uh, Celadon City. So let's go for the Thunder Wave first to paralyze it. This Snorlax is also level 30, just like the other one, so that's pretty cool. I kind of like the sprite for, uh, Snorlax. Oh, rest failed there. That's awesome. Cause then it could have healed its um status condition. I think maybe I don't know. Maybe it has to have a missing health too. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go for the thunderbolt. See what this does. Hopefully it doesn't faint it. Okay, quick, quick. Jeez, four paralyzed. Okay, let's go for the quick attack. Hopefully this doesn't faint it. Jeez. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just try to throw a pokeball or great ball in now. Cause I don't want to get quick quit on it and faint it. Um, cause I'd stink, you know. Let's go for, uh, one of my, I'm gonna throw one of my great balls. One. Ah, uh, darn it. Floyd Palace, okay, let's throw a great ball. I just gotta try to be lucky, I guess. One. Of course. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use Quick Attack again to put in the red health zone for HP. But hopefully we don't faint it, right? I'm gonna be very upset if we faint it. Okay, good. Oh, headbutt's gonna hurt. Ooh, that did a lot. Yeah, it did over half. Jeez. Let's just hope that I can be paralyzed next turn because I don't really want to waste time healing. Oh, are you kidding me? He's in the red and he's paralyzed. He's in the red zone of his HP and he's paralyzed. Come on. I'm running out of great balls here. Dang it. Actually, this is the first time I'm actually using great balls because I don't really to use a Pokemon to catch a Pokemon with it. Okay, Storm fainted. That stinks, you know. Okay, let's go to, um... Let's go to Lavender, I guess. Lavender has good defense, right? I could also go into Boot Root, but I don't know. Uh, let's go. Nope, I didn't mean to go back to my Pokemon. Okay, there we go. I have two more great balls after this. Come on, we got we got we got to be lucky here. One, two, three. We caught it! Yay! All right, Snorlax was caught. Your Pokemon was out of the Pokedex. Okay. 
Yeah, um, Snow Max is a sleeping Pokemon. It's a hundred. It's not. It's number one hundred forty in the Pokedex. Its height is it's six feet and eleven inches tall. Jeez, it weighs a thousand fourteen pounds exactly. When with will eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. Okay, that's kind of gross. It never gets any. It never gets an upset stomach. Man, I would love to have the power to not get up. To, not ever get an upset stomach. Give me a nickname for Snow Max. Okay, um. Let's name him, uh, let's name him Buddy, because he's my buddy. I don't know, that's kind of an unusual name. But let's just name him Buddy. Buddy, I like it. Buddy was transferred to box, to both PC. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go heal up, because Pikachu fainted and whatnot, so I'll be right back, you guys. Oh yeah, thank you in Fire and Leaf Green, if you, like, press, uh, like, right here where the Snorlax was, you get, like, a leftovers, I think, as a held item, which help, restores a little bit of HP after every turn for your Pokemon that's holding it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna put Storm back at the, um, back of the party, really, and keep Grumpy the front, I guess. Because Grumpy's still level 35, and Storm is already level 36, so it makes sense, I guess. Electricity is my specialty. I think this is a rocker. He probably has, like, Voltorbs and Magnemites or something. I was right about him being a rocker. So, does he have a Voltorb? Yeah. So, he probably has, like, two Voltorbs or a Voltorb and a Magnemite. I don't know. You never know. Uh, let's go for the Body Slam on this thing. There we go, nice. Critical Awesome. Alright, because about this Electrode. Okay, so he has the Ball Form Electrode. Cool. I think this is the first time we're seeing the Ball Form of Voltorb, which is Electrod. Oh man, let's get yourself that struck. Jeez. Hopefully this isn't being grumpy. Okay, good, it doesn't. Cool. Nice. I was, I was getting like really worried there. Okay, I'm pugged. Sorry, man. Thanks for the 725 pug dollars. I think this is not a fishing guru house, so this guy will give- This fishing guru will give the super rod. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Yes, of course. Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. We got the super rod, which- which, uh, can catch really good Pokemon, honestly, if you, um, if use it on the water and stuff. And fish, I guess. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to the rivers, go out and then the big one. Okay, you're very inspirational, man. I like it. So, uh, how many items? Do I think we have to carry, we can only carry 20 items in our bag. So, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we still have about 5 more spots in our bag. So, I was wondering if I had to go back to the Pokemon Center and deposit the, um, Super Rod in my PC. And we don't have Cut with us, so we can't battle that trainer or get that item. That's a bummer. Hopefully it's not a really good item that I'm missing out on. Hopefully, hopefully that's not the case. Have you found a moonstone? Yes, I've found four. I have found four throughout my journey so far. And I think that's, maybe four is the max. I don't know, maybe you can find five, I don't know. I believe I found four at least. I may have lost track by now. I just don't know for sure. Let's go for the body slam on this thing. Let's go for the Neron. Male, okay, use body slam, cool. Nice. There's a Nidorino, okay, cool. They have a former Nidoran male, that's pretty cool. It's level 29, just like the Nidoran male, like from earlier. Ooh, could call it nice. We defeated Junior Trainer, cool. Junior Trainer male. Ow, sorry man. Thanks for 508 Poké Dollars. Though, I would appreciate it. I can't use Cut there because we don't have Cut. But yeah, I think there's like a shortcut where you can cut through some tall grass. But you can run into all Pokemon at the same time too. Stuck, what's about you? I found Carbos in a cave once. That's another vitamin. I think it, if I were to guess, I think it raises, um, special attack or special? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't know the descriptions of every vitamin in the game, you know? That'd be crazy. So let's use Thunderbolt on this thing. Hopefully it'll faint it, you know? That'd be great. This might be the last battle of the video too, because in the recording time I'm at 22 minutes. So, yeah. Level 36 for Grumpy, yay. Ginger is about to use Poliwag. Switch Pokemon, yes. Okay, let's go to, um... Let's go to Gamera, I guess. Let's go for the Bite. Attack, I guess. Yeah, it does about a little or half, that's good. Okay, let's go use Double Slap. Is it slapping it with a... Is Poliwag using its tail to slap? Oh, that's because it's, you know, Poliwag doesn't have any arms. Or hands or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of it too hard or something. 
I don't know if I said that right. Uh, maybe I'm just thinking too hard, I should say. Uh, th that makes a little more sense. Let's go for Kehoisi. Cool. Let's stay in with a uh, camera. Let's use bite on this thing. We did about half. That's awesome. It's gonna use the weirdo lower camera's defense. So hopefully we can knock this thing out. Before it nope. Of course it's gonna, it's gonna hang on by the skin of its teeth. And it's gonna lower camera's accuracy. Thanks. Let's use water gun this thing to finish it off. It's not gonna be very effective, but it says it should finish it off. Yeah. There we go. Cool. I just messed up, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for 560 pocket dollars. Okay, so let's uh... Let's go to Tabasco, I guess, and then we'll switch Grumpy with that uh, camera. So I have my Pokemon on level 36 and have my Pokemon on level 35. Cool. We'll do one more battle before we end off the part, I guess. My Pokemon went to, sc went, went to scrap, or... I mean, I misread that. So you're a bird keeper, huh? Okay, Pidgey. Level 29, cool. Let's go for the slash attack. Okay, bird keeper is on that Pidgey, oh, cool. Let's use slash on this thing. Wind. Okay, it's unaffected. Good. So we should finish it off with an ember, hopefully. This Pidgey is also level 29, just like the Pidgey before it. Nice. Yeah, cool. We did for a bird keeper. Nice. My bird puck went, my bird combo lost. I'm sorry, man. It did. Thanks for the 725 Poké Dollars, though. Okay, I have Tabasco for an array. Okay, so I'm gonna end the part right here. So, in the next part, we'll take on the rest of this route and hopefully make it all the way back to Future City going the long way around. I wish I could show you where I'm taking, but I don't have my town map with me. I haven't had my town map with me since like episode 3 or so. Maybe 2, I don't know. Or part 2 or part 3. So, yeah, since so it's been Jago again, I'm gonna like them just goodbye and we'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.